All right, boys and girls, we are going to make our house in the night picture. You're going to have a handout. It's probably gonna be two-sided. You'll have this, this, these, this is your idea. These are your idea sheets. And you're gonna get a white jelly roll pen. And you are going to use said pen to draw your house. And I would start by making the top of the roof. And then these two lines will be parallel. And you'll come across. And you're also going to have this line coming out. Okay, so there's the start of your house. I'm doing a version of this house here. Next week, we'll be adding um, different shapes with different paper to make the um, windows stand out, to make some contrast in order to create emphasis. So emphasis is when something stands out. I did a little boo-boo there, but I'm going to make it work. Maybe I'll put some, you know what I can do? I can improvise and put some grass here. So the jelly roll pen is white on black. So this is a little different than what we normally do. And you're going to want to think about how do I want to make this stand out? I'm going to put my door in. The trick is to keep it rolling and not let it clog. Actually, let me you look at it in reverse you're going to use lines this is called hatching um, we're going to use some hatching which is when the lines go in one direction and we're going to use some cross hatching which is when the lines go in more than one direction and they will cross over and you'll see that soon I might do some cross hatching in another part <clears throat> so depending on how you want um, the roof to be you could have show one side of the roof or two sides and then you're gonna have your little path coming off. You can make the path get wider as you, as you come away from the building. You could put your windows in, but I think I'm gonna wait until next week and I'm gonna make some windows using some white or yellow paper. You also wanna think about where is your little house? So when I say, where is your little house? What kind of land is it on? Um, the closer and more lines you put, the more you're going to have white and the more it's going to emphasize from the black of the paper. Something to keep in mind. So I'm going to keep going and I'm going to fill it up with things.
All right, I'm gonna do a little, um, so think about as you're making some of these bushes and stuff, <clears throat> perhaps you have like this bush here. I'm doing this one. And this actually has cross hatching. So we have lines going one way and then the opposite way. And that creates cross hatching. You can use cross hatching on different things. I used a lot of regular hatching. You can also come back and use something called uh, stipple, which stippling is just using dots. I'm gonna use some more hatching though. The nice thing about the hatching is that it actually um, really highlights the direction things are going. I'm not gonna worry about the sky today. I'm gonna focus on things that are going on on the ground. So, and we're just working with a white pen. I can't wait to see yours. 